Try to search for the stage directions for Coffin. Take a look first at its beginning on page 290. What do you see? Can you find any stage directions there? For those of you who are familiar with reading written plays, is the lack of stage directions usual? If this is not usual, why does Kuo do this? Is the lack of stage directions reflective of theatrical tradition or conventions existing during that time? The lack of stage directions in ancient Greek and Italian Renaissance drama, for example, was reflective of the fact that there were respected and long-held conventions of theatre practice in both, and theatre practitioners did not need the directions, as they knew what to do when they were given the script of a play. Although it might be the case that Kuo wrote the script for the theatre company that he was associated with at the time, who would know what to do with it if they were given the script? This cannot be generalised to theatrical conventions existing during that time in Singapore. In that case, was the lack of stage directions in Coffin an individual predilection? If it was, what does it tell you about Kuo's technique? Of course, he forms an interesting contrast with Khan, who does give stage directions in a play. The contrast between the two playwrights may hinge on their professional involvement with performance practice, a point that we'll be returning to shortly and also in our discussion of Khan. What does the lack of stage directions tell you about the kind of play Ko has written? That is to say, its genre or subgenre. We might say that it is associated with the monodrama. But we notice that Khan's play, which is also a monodrama, does have stage directions. What we can say here is that Kuo's play is associated with a certain strand of the monodrama monodramatic genre, which is seen in monodramas that are performed with minimalist settings. Our last point has to do with Kuo's experimentalism, which was touched on in the first clip of the introduction to drama where it was mentioned that Kuo's experimentalism opens the possibilities of performance even when one looks at the written text by itself. The text of his play thus avoids detailed descriptions or instructions on what the director should do, thus leaving it to the director to make his or her own decisions. Uh -huh.